Welcome, everybody, to a new, I guess, special... I don't know if this is going to be a series, but this is definitely, like, a special thing for Patreon. I'm calling it Behind the Builds. This is going to be a Patreon-only video that I'm going to do for my Patreon supporters. And this is going to be kind of like a, a commentary over the rough edits for the time-lapse of my main series. So uh, we'll get into it. It's gonna be very, very raw, very live feeling. I'm not gonna edit this. I'm hoping to just take this file and upload it and not have to re-render like this because this is gonna take a while. We have, as you can see here, we have four files here. We have, uh, what is this? About nine hours of footage here. And in our editor here, it's sped up uh, eight times. So it is now about an hour, and we're going to have to edit this down into the next uh, episode of Cedar Flags for YouTube. So the next episode will be a public episode, obviously. Uh, these are just going to be like Patreon special videos uh, every once in a while. We'll see how this goes. This one's open to everybody just as a taste, and if you want to keep getting these in the future and see the work behind the scenes here, uh, hopefully some of you guys think this is cool. Um, but yeah, these will be Patreon only. So as I... Uh, over explain that let's get into what we are doing here um this is my process really and this is going to be kind of interesting hopefully for some of you guys this is going to be very boring for maybe a lot of you i'm not really sure but uh we're going to go through i'm gonna do my best to try to talk through all this stuff because usually i'm doing this alone and i'm not really thinking this through um out loud so Hopefully this is okay. These will only get better in the future if I continue with them. But uh, as you can see, most of these clips are actually from the live stream. So this is all, this is this is where the magic happens. So we need to find a good spot um, for where to start this. And obviously I know where this goes in the end, but you guys probably don't as of yet. So I'm trying to find a good spot to start this. Actually, I, I accidentally deleted the beginning, uh, like the first capture that I did so you'll see okay there's a lot of like weird stuff going on here uh you'll see there's a new ride if you follow the series there's this swing ride um I I accidentally deleted that file so we're starting kind of mid or at the start of the build here but there is already stuff here so this episode is gonna start kind of weird uh we do a lot of this kind of stuff on stream so I edit a lot of this stuff out you guys are gonna see how much actually gets edited out of these videos too this is it's pretty crazy, I'll, I'll say that, but um, I'm trying to find a good spot to start this episode out, and it's probably going to be about here. Um, yeah, this is going to be probably a great spot here, and uh, I'll be able to talk in the actual commentary. This is weird, I'm going to have to like commentate on this footage twice now, but we'll see how this goes. Uh, we'll start about, eh, probably about here, actually. I want to trim this out nice. Um, I always like to jump into a time lapse with like some action going on. So there's a lot of like pointing around at stuff on, especially on a stream. When I first start up a stream, you'll probably notice that um, there's a lot of like explaining to the viewers what's happening. Um, and then we go into the building and we get into it. And then there's occasionally times where we get off track here and there, like some of this stuff where I'm just talking to the stream chat about what's going on here. I love to keep these episodes cut pretty, like, into action a lot. So I, I don't like there to be a lot of downtime in the time lapses. I think I probably, I don't know if I've seen anybody else edit their time lapses as much as I do, which is probably one thing that I could maybe, uh, I, I guess if I didn't edit it so much, it wouldn't be so, you know, time consuming for me to put it out. But I like doing the quality edits I, I think you guys probably appreciate that kind of stuff as well, uh, just because it kind of keeps things moving a bit here. So uh, this whole block in here is pretty much just like going around talking to the chat about stuff and it's gone. Like we don't need that. So this is, we'll go from here where we're placing some of this stuff to here. That edit was very smooth actually too. So you, honestly, it's like a blink. When you're moving fast, like 800 times speed, a lot of this edit like goes away. Like you guys don't even probably realize how much editing goes into this stuff. But when you're, we're seeing it now, you're, you're gonna realize what actually happens here. So like I said, I wanna keep things moving here and times where I stop like that, if I don't go into anything, like right now I'm going off to explain other stuff. 
this is the one downside about actually streaming um, time-lapse builds for my channel is because we end up going off and doing other stuff like that a lot um, so the editing process actually takes a lot more time but like if we I'm just I'm trying to like commentate over this while actually doing the work as, as well so forgive me if I don't complete thoughts here and there but yeah you'll see there I think there's one clip in this time-lapse that I did on my own like without a stream going so you'll notice the the building is a lot more like focal in what I was doing. I'm not like skipping all over the place doing stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those things. But I, I do love streaming for you guys too. That's the other thing. I love it because you guys are there to talk to me and keep me sane. Uh, we need to cut some of that stuff out. So we'll cut that there. And uh, yeah, there we go. So yeah, that's a pretty decent edit. This whole build is I'll, I'll talk about this in the the actual video a lot too but this whole build gets very off track at some point or not off track we just build something we start and get a lot of the way through one concept and then it ends up not working out whatsoever and then we end up cutting a lot of or actually we delete the entire build and start fresh but it's it's one of those things that has to happen and that's the thing about these time lapses they want to they have to tell a story and it, it, it's kind of weird in this particular episode because the story that i have to tell here is like one of i guess struggling and trying to get things right here and there's there's a lot of like <laughs> that's me going off on the stream again talking about other things again but um no there's a lot of like do i want to explain this entire build even though we delete it all, like a lot of times if I delete something in a in a build, I won't even put it into the uh, into the time lapse. I'll cut a lot of it out. Just because there's there's it, it just wastes time. But this one actually I guess there's a lot of work that's done and then a lot of stuff that we do in this original build we end up keeping. So I guess it, it warrants keeping it into this to this time lapse video. So yeah, let's see what we're doing here. There's a lot of like, I, I've, I guess I've picked up a lot of times where like, I, I know my own tendencies. So when I'm editing stuff, like I just made that cut right there because I, I noticed that I was gonna stop for a second. I was probably reading chat or something. So like that dead space right there where we didn't do anything, uh, I usually cut that out. And I'm not sure if you're going to hear my keyboard throughout these kinds of videos, but I'm not sure if there's anything I can do about that either, so bear with me on that. Like I said, I'm not going to be editing this video back later. I'm just going to upload this raw video up to you guys, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Let me know how it goes. Um, I think this has to get unlisted on YouTube before it can... Uh, so I can do this whole Patreon-exclusive stuff. So I'm not sure if the comments section for the video is going to work or not, but... I guess, I guess we'll see how that works. This is kind of just an experiment, too. We'll see how this goes, and then moving forward, we'll make a decision on this kind of stuff, too. Um, that, I think, as I was talking there, we did pretty good. I'm trying to multitask. It's pretty tough, but did a lot of that stuff. Um, there's a lot of times where I'll go backwards like this, and I'll try to like look at something. These are really good cutting points, because I'll, I'll zoom back, and I'll stop and especially in editing um i guess anything but when you edit stuff you want to if you have a shot that stopped oh nice um if you have a shot that stopped and you want to cut to another shot you want to cut to another shot that's stopped you know you don't want to be stopped and then all of a sudden jump to another shot that's like moving that's very jarring and same with motion you want to cut from motion to motion a lot of times so um it's just one thing to kind of think about and I think, okay, yeah, I'll do a lot of preemptive cuts like I just did there. Even though I didn't actually cut anything out, I had to, you know, if I know my own tendencies, like I said, so I, I could have very possibly had to cut something out of that. And that's why I cut that there. It just makes things easier moving forward. It's easier to cut and then not need it than it is to need it and then go back. Um, what were we doing here? Wow. What is going around the park again? 
Like that cut that I just did preemptively was totally necessary. Uh, there's a lot of scrolling through menus that I cut out a lot in these time lapses that you guys probably don't even notice. Um, it's usually just me sitting there scrolling through menus, so it's like it's not worth me putting in, and it just it looks terrible. It's slow, and you guys don't even get to see what I'm looking through. So I cut a lot of that stuff out, like this. I'll go ahead and cut. And it's it's a good cut too because the camera's usually not moving. I try not to move around when I'm going through menus. So it's easy for me to just cut that right there and we just saved however long that is, you know? So, and the cuts are super smooth, like I said. So you didn't even notice. Like, it looks like I just put a piece back and pulled it out real quick. So it it's not that I'm like superhuman or can go through menus like super crazy in this game, but... It's all in the editing. It's always in the editing. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to keep this moving here. And this is there's a lot of there's a lot of just downtime. A lot of times I'll cut to like I'll cut if I'm I'm feeling liberal in my cuts. I'll like I just place that down. I'll cut that out. So I'll just chop that. And then, it's not as smooth, but it does take a lot of unnecessary time out. So, um, yeah, we're just using the archer here. And then, this is funny, because I'm trying to, like, keep the commentary about the editing and not about what I'm doing on screen, but I think I'm just naturally wanting to commentate on what we're building. There's a lot of times here, like, I know what's coming up, so there's a lot of times where I'm... Like, I know we're not going to use this piece, so I'm going to preemptively cut. And actually, I'm probably going to cut earlier here. There's a lot of times when there's the cameras flying around, too. I try to limit that as much as possible. Like, that whole thing is just nauseating, seizure-inducing, whatever you want to call it. A lot of times, that cut gets very abrupt, though. And we never ended up doing anything with the archways, so I'll actually cut a lot of that out as well. We're just chopping this up. You guys, at the end of this, you'll see what we end up keeping. Um, we were at about an hour worth of footage when it was all rendered, or not rendered, but you know, it was all chopped down um, and sped up. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, a lot of planning. This building was a pain. This was not my best work, and it was very, very annoying to try to get this all done right. So, what are we doing? We went from here over to here. Actually, a lot of this I'm going to cut out, I think. I don't think we need to talk too much about this. This is, like, if this were the actual final building, I would keep this in. But since it's not, I'm going to actually delete that. And we'll go from there to there. That actually... It, it's funny what your eye does in with video stuff like that. Like that's that cut right there was not the smoothest, but your eyes just make it like very smooth when you look at it. Just because you're you're used to tracking motion, and like I said, if you go from motion to motion, it's pretty easy on the eyes. Um, we're doing a lot of path work here, and like I said, I want to cut a lot of this. I'm going to be very, very liberal in the cutting on this initial build, but then when we get into what's finally uh, the the finished build for this episode, I'll end up keeping a lot of that. But, alright, we cut all of that path work out. I'm going to actually... We cut all of this path stuff. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it there. And then I'm going to come back to where we're cutting this path out again. And it's like that moment never happened. So, boom, boom. <laughs> like, it's it's magic sometimes when you, when I'm doing this stuff, you know? And like I said, you guys, you guys would never know what's happening. You, you guys never know you missed that little section of the time lapse. All right, so that's there. That's th like I said, this is a good preemptive cut here. I'm probably talking to chat at this point, talking about what's going on, and then we get back into it here. So I'm gonna cut back in here. So like I said, stationary to stationary there. Um, the shot's not moving, so it's not completely jarring. 
and then that's a, probably a decent spot to jump. Like I said, this takes a lot of getting used to and a lot of just uh, knowing myself and how I've built stuff and then remembering how I built stuff. Um, it helps a lot because I know what's coming up. I know I'm about to like talk to the stream chat or whatever. And we're just going to cut a lot of that stuff out. So I'm, like I said, I'm trying to keep this moving. So we go from there to there. I remember we end up trying to turn this stuff. And then, yeah, we're going to leave most of this in. I'm going to try to keep commentating over this, but I think there's going to be times where I'm just going to not talk for a while. So if, uh, if that's not your cup of tea, then these videos probably aren't for you. But I'm just trying to watch what I'm doing here. And I'm trying to find the next spot where I'm going to edit this out. This walkway we actually end up keeping, so I'm, I'm going to keep... Like I said, I'm not going to be as liberal with how I edit this part out. Um, though this part, I'm just scrolling through menus. So we'll end up cutting that. There's a good chunk gone. It's a little bit of an abrupt cut, but it's not that bad. I do remember this being a lot of fun. And I say fun sarcastically, because uh, this one was kind of tedious. This build, in ways, was very tedious. I end up moving the camera a lot when I'm recording these videos. Like this. This is just... It's kind of nauseating. Okay. <laughs> there are times like this that happens a lot too, so I'm gonna actually cut, I think, all of that out. Because I just ended up deleting everything I just did. There's no reason for me to make you guys watch this twice. So what we're gonna do is cut that out. It's like it never happened. And then we'll jump back in there. It's not the best angle that I came back at, but it's fine. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm probably talking to chat again. So that'll go away. Ripple Delete is your friend, ladies and gentlemen. And I guess if you guys ever have any questions about editing, I'm always down to talk about it. So if you guys want to like, if you guys are, you know, a YouTuber or you're starting YouTube or you need some advice on stuff, hit me up on Twitter. I'll, I'll let you know what's going on. Oh, this is going to be, uh, you guys will notice this. I accidentally hit escape a lot in this game and having the menu pop up bugs me when I'm watching a video so I like to cut that out but it's very f annoying to have to go do that so I try not to hit the escape button too much but like I said it's very jarring to me when I'm watching videos and, and people are hitting escape and the menu pops up real quick because everything dims behind it um, and you see the white box and your eye is just like whoa what just happened so it's, it's kind of annoying to me, so I always try to edit that out. Every now and then I'll forget to, and it, it jars me when I'm trying to do the live commentary. Um, you're, you're not going to see me do the live commentary on these videos. You're going to see me just do the time-lapse editing here, like what we're, what we're doing now. Uh, when we finish up the, the entire time-lapse, uh, this video will be done. So uh, if you want to know the commentary, go watch the actual video on YouTube. That's going to be your best place to do that. Someday I might make, like, a, a true behind-the-scenes, like, every step of my editing. Because there is stuff that goes into this later um, that I'm not going to get into. Like, how I, I have to resize this video because I want to... I, I remove this uh, Twitch stuff so you guys don't see this in the final product. The actual video quality is a little diminished because of that, but it's not that bad. And YouTube does its own stuff to video quality anyway, so I'm not super concerned about that. But there's, like, little stuff like that that I, I'm not going to get into in this episode. Or, I, I want to say episode. this These kinds of videos. But uh, maybe in, in the future I'll just do one video where I do a complete edit and, like, show you guys the exact process of how everything works. All right, a lot of this build's gonna get chopped out. This this entire building, what we're doing right now, gone at the end of this. Like it's 
it's crazy how much we we did and then how much we end up just scrapping all of it this was one of those videos or one of those episodes that i was just um complete block of creativity at some point i just hit dead ends and i was just like this is not working and then someone in my live chat encouraged me to just like delete it and start an start a new and i was just like you know what yeah let's do that and it worked i love what we come up with you guys will see that momentarily but it's it's a lot of work and it was a lot of wasted time but you know what? sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do right but um all right i don't know why i'm stopping here again like i said there's a lot of times where i know i'm about to stop just i think the way that i I don't know. I just know where I'm stopping. I don't. It's not like I remember. Oh yeah, I stopped here. It's just like oh, I moved the camera and then I stopped. And I was like, yep, that's gonna be a stop. So I just know that's gonna happen. Um, a lot of this is gonna get moved. Yeah, a lot of this is gonna get edited out. This was a lot of trying to plan stuff with Twitch chat and being like, I don't know what I'm gonna do here. And then people always, people always try to help me. Um, which is awesome, by the way. I love that. Let's go back to the point where we're doing the second story on this. We'll jump in right about here. We'll jump in here. This is a good spot because the, the uh, camera is stationary there. So we'll cut this. Um, that was a little jarring, but it's not that bad. Actually, we could probably improve that a little bit. All right, right there. This is one of those like finesse cuts that you have to make sometimes. Um, I try to get it right before the camera moves. A lot of times when I'm building, it'll I'll be doing something and the camera won't move. So that that was a lot less jarring. It's still jarring, but it's it's not that bad. And then there's a lot of me jiggling the camera here and there. Um, let's see. Right when I go back. So right before the camera starts to go that way, I'll cut here. And then I'll come back when I'm putting those windows in. A lot of people hate the editing process. I, I find it extremely fun. There's something about just making something, like, come to life from what could be just, like, a mundane thing. Like, all of this editing, um, all of this time-lapse. If I, if I commentated over the entire thing, it'd be so boring. So, making this better <laughs> is, is a lot of fun. It's very creatively rewarding, if you will. So that... Probably jump back in here. Like I said, I'm gonna get very liberal in the way we cut this. Uh, was that cut good? I don't even know. All right, you notice how right here, this cut is not that great right now. We can tidy this up. The camera starts moving like right there. So if we cut this right here, we take out that little bit. That cut is way smoother now, and that's the kind of thing that you just need to you need to be looking for when you're doing these kinds of videos. And then, of course, we come back here. Like I said, I come back a lot to like stop and look at stuff that I just did. It's a really good place to edit or to cut. Um, what are we doing? I guess we add another level to this, maybe eventually. Yeah, we're going to cut a lot of this out. It's not that important. A this entire building gets demolished eventually. We're going to try to take influence from other places. Um, there's a lot of... See, we even just deleted it right there. There's a lot of just... Cutting this out. So, um, let's skip forward here. Let's see what we can come back to. Uh, let's actually... Let's make a mark here, and then let's see what happens in the future. We might cut a lot of this out, actually, now that I'm looking at this. Uh, this is one of the harder episodes to edit, too. I, I don't think I've ever done this much of a build and then just demolish the entire thing. Uh, actually, that's not a bad spot to come to. 
Uh, where were we? Right about here. So we end up duplicating this entire thing over. All right, let's let's cut it back to here. Boom. I don't like marks being here, so I usually clear them. It, for some reason, like when you create a mark in Premiere, the video player gets really small. Oh, I guess I should mention also that this is not like the preferred video player or uh, workspace that I use for Premiere. Uh, I have three monitors and I usually spread everything all the way across them, but this is a good one for you guys to watch what's going on. I've done some editing on stream before as well. Um, and I, this is more, you can see this and all we're really doing is some timeline work. So this is all we really need. I would not recommend this as like a workspace for anybody who wants to get into video editing. All right, so we copy this building over. And even though we just did all this stuff and we cut a lot of this out, it's still gonna kind of make sense to the viewer. Um, it basically looks like we just took a shortcut and we're just, we did, it essentially looks like we deleted everything we just did and we're just copying this over. The viewer, a lot of times, will be able to discern between stuff like that. You can basically let the, the viewer put two and two together sometimes here. Um, okay, what's going on here? I want to cut some of that out, I think. Maybe, maybe not. Nah, we'll leave it in. I was See, I was trying to do this, like, diagonal building stuff and all of this stuff. It just did not... It did not work. It was... It was not working. I had this whole plan to, like, do some stuff up top and, like, some plaza work up top with the pathing, and it just... It was not happening. Um, I'm thinking a lot of this... I, I honestly think we could probably delete most of the rest of this. Um... What is this? Actually, this entire... This was me on my own trying to get some of this to work. And it just never worked. So I think this entire video section is just going to go to waste, essentially, here. Um, there was a lot of pathing. Like I said, I had ambitions to do this. It wasn't working, and we end up cutting all of this. You'll see this momentarily here, but we're going to... I think we're just going to delete this, which is going to be kind of unfortunate because I was talking a little bit about how I am a little bit more focused when I'm building off stream versus on stream. And that was the only thing that I did off stream. Um, so you guys won't be able to see the comparison in this video. But if you guys end up supporting me on Patreon, I will continue to do this stuff and you'll see that in a future video. <laughs> see what I did there? All right. Anyway, um... We put the building there. Honestly, like I said, I think I'm going to cut the rest of this. And then we get back into a stream. This is the big stream. This is where we do all of the really like important work here. And this is a lot of deleting <laughs> what we already had had. Uh, I don't quite remember where we started, though. So I'm going to try to keep... All right, so we kept that building as the, the start for this new build. So you'll see what we do momentarily. But we're going to show the deleting process here. Um, I don't know where to start, though. Let's see where we actually start to delete stuff. This was a new stream. So again, at the beginning of the stream, I, I tend to go through and show people what had happened and where we're starting from. Um, but if I show all of this stuff, it's not going to make that much sense because we didn't have this in the time lapse anymore. So what I'm going to probably end up doing here is just showing the deleting of all of this stuff. And we'll probably start right around where we just saw. So yeah, we'll, we'll start around here. Like I said, that, that was probably four, four and a half, five hours worth of of real-time work that I did just completely gone now um, but that's the break you know them's the breaks all right uh, we're deleting here and I was trying to get some of this pathing stuff worked out again I don't know if I'm gonna keep this in or not 
I don't really need this part at all, so I'm going to cut this out. Um, where? Where, oh where? So we end up deleting there. Uh, the camera moved a little bit. Like I said, if you can cut, like, the moment before the camera moves, I could cut with this here, but it's probably a little jarring. So we won't do that. Uh, I'm going to hopefully find the spot where I just start deleting everything. I was trying to get some pathing stuff worked out, and it just wasn't happening, like I said. Uh, and then eventually we end up scrapping this entire thing. So, if I can find the point that we scrap the entire thing, that'd be nice. Uh, somewhere around here, okay. Did I, did I just delete that? I don't even know. There's the roof, I'm highlighting it, and it's over there now. I don't remember why I did that, but you know what? We'll, we'll cut back to here. Like I said, lots of stuff getting cut out of this. This is a, definitely a decent episode to do a video like this on because there's so much editing work going on here. Um trying this is a lot a little bit of this is going to leak into the actual episode because i want to keep um the story going you know so like the story here is that i i i'm trying to make this building work and it's not happening so we eventually delete almost all of it um all right Actually, a lot of this is probably going to stay in because this ends up being in the final build. Actually, that doesn't, though. So we're going to probably cut before then. Um, where's a good place to cut? This is kind of rough here, actually, now that I'm looking at this. So... There's not a real good place to cut here, so this is going to be kind of... There's not much I'm going to be able to do about this. You know what? We're going to cut it probably, like, here. Even though I don't place that piece down, that's a decent place to stop. Um... A lot of just stuff that I know we're about to delete, so I'm not... Okay. Okay, that... It, it had happened here. Somewhere. Let's see. And that's there. Okay. Um... We're gonna want to come back. Right around, actually, we'll probably end up cutting right back into here. Since we're still looking at this area, it makes a lot of sense for the viewers, so watch this. We delete that. We end up starting here. And we're doing some editing. And then all of a sudden, we're still there, and we just deleted everything. And that is the point that we're now going to be doing uh, much m much finer cuts. Not We're not going to be at taking, a, like, a bulks of things out of this video now from here out. It's funny because I'll see the, the bits pop up and the, the hosts and everything and the alerts for the stream and I'll remember everything that happened. It's kind of fun to do this. Um, there was some... You, don't, you won't even see those alerts in the final video. Like I said, those go away when I blow the video up there's a lot of stuff like this I think this I end up not using so I'm gonna cut this out um where am I gonna cut to though is that a good place to cut probably Right, so we'll cut there. 
Uh, that whole thing we don't use, that... A lot of times I'll do that too. I'll put something there. And then if I end up going to build somewhere else and it's kind of in shot, I try to keep it in. Just because it, it's going to look weird if stuff just appears. Like the viewer, I guess you guys may notice if something just like pops up and you're like wait how did that get there you know you don't want to miss those moments so there is like it, this is definitely an art you don't want to like I, you don't want to make the viewer feel like they're being cheated out of content you know so it is definitely an art <laughs> it's stuff like that where probably somebody in the chat was like hey there's a big I think I was complaining about a piece that wasn't in the roofing section here like you can't do like a three-sided sloped roof if that makes sense it probably doesn't make sense but um someone said they they saw it in the menu and i had to like point out that no that's not actually the piece and it looks ridiculous so we'll cut that out but where am i going to cut from that's the problem here um actually you know what we'll probably cut right the, here after we select all this, right? Like that. All right, get rid of that. And then we'll come back right before we put that roof up there. So this might not be exactly the best cut, but I mean, you see the camera move, you'll you'll see it shift a little bit. So it's not it's not perfect from here to there, but it's still the same angle so people know what's going on. You don't want to lose viewers you don't want to be jumping all over the place in the time lapse and you want to try to keep viewers like the story i always go back to the story you want to keep that story going and you don't want to lose people along the way so this is one of those spots where i probably stop to talk to chat so we'll delete end it there we'll figure out why or where we come back Uh, we probably come back around here, so we'll cut that in, or out, or in, I don't, I don't know. Um, that's there, now we're doing this, okay, that's, like I said, the story's still moving here, so that's good. And yeah, uh, you guys watching this are gonna now realize how long it takes. This is just the editing process, too. This is just the, the raw editing process. Like, I still have to, I'll, after this is done, I have to do the voiceover work. Um, I'll, I'll sit here, I'll watch this back again. I'll talk, just like I'm doing right now. Um, and I'll, I'll commentate on what's going on. Then I have to edit that in. Um, which is usually not that hard. Like, I'll, use, I'll watch this in real time, so I'll just put that audio over this time lapse that we're creating right now. And it's pretty easy work from there. There's a little, there's times where like my throat will dry out, so I need to get a drink. So I'll pause the time lapse as I'm recording it, and then I'll I'll unpause it. So I'll have to make the cut in the audio there, but it's not that bad. Um, I have to then I have to then put the overlay stuff. Like I have the Twitter link and tags and everything that comes up at the beginning of the episode. I have to do the intro work too, which is a whole lot of fun. Uh, I have to then go in and my process is I'll do, I'll record the time-lapse commentary and then I'll go in and record the live session. So usually if I mention something in the time-lapse like commentary, I'll be able to remember and go back in and uh, talk about it in the live portion. Uh, I know there are people who do it the other way around, like, right when they're done building in the game, they'll hit the record button and record exactly what, like, they just did, and then they go back and do the time lapse beforehand, so it's a little out of, uh, it's out of time, out of chrono chronological order there, but, um, it's not how I do it. It takes a little bit more time the way I do it, but, alright, what are we doing? I've been talking about my process now. I don't know what I was doing here. All right, so we'll probably hop back in. Uh, this is one of those times where sitting here and watching me click all of this is probably not the most entertaining. So I'll, I'll cut probably to here. 
So I'm cutting the, the front half of selecting these pieces out here. Actually, we can make this cut a little bit better too. Um, right here. So when I cut this originally, I had this where I went over to here and I, I think I stopped or something. So, and then it, it snaps back over here. If we can eliminate that, which we are going to do, this is gonna be a much smoother cut. Watch this. Yeah, that's way smoother now. And before anybody asks, no, I, I never went to school for video editing. So I, I I have a few friends who went to school for video editing, so I picked up tricks along the way. And funny enough, I actually did video editing in college for, like, projects. Um, there were a few projects where people were doing music videos and they needed someone to, get, to edit stuff with. And it was, it was a fun hobby. I've never actually been trained in this stuff, though. So um, if that answers preliminary questions. You know what? I'm really dumb. I realize right now that this, I could have just spun this entire building around, but instead I take the wall from this side and move it over there. That's, that's funny. I could have just rotated the entire building because it's just a mirror image. The front is the same as the back. What am I doing? All right, we stopped there. Uh, I'm going to end up coming back to here. Even though this wall is gonna be gone, it wasn't that big of an important piece of the timeline so far, so probably won't even notice it. Again, there are times like this where I like, I'll even go in and speed this up 1600% instead of 800% just because selecting all those pieces, um, while important for what we're doing here, is very boring to watch. So honestly, I'm thinking I'm gonna cut here. Like there's really no point to watch me um, do all of that. So I'll, I'll probably end up, you know what? I drew a box here like that. And if I cut this, it's gonna look essentially like I just selected that all at once instead of going through and I mean, it wasn't that smooth, but it's okay. And a few pieces we missed there, and get rid of that, and then we're back here, so... This is a good cut here. And look, after all of that editing that we've done so far, this is it's been 40 minutes worth of editing here. We're only up to 16, 17 minutes. And it's even less because this doesn't start at, like, zero. It starts at nine minutes, so this whole video is only, what... 10 minutes long right now like this is you guys are seeing the work that goes into this right now all right so we'll probably end up coming back to here come back right in here like this oh i don't like that either sometimes the game will there's something weird with Planet Coaster where the game just like zooms you out really fast sometimes, so a lot of times I'll cut that out because it's extremely jarring as a viewer. Alright, so come back to here instead. Ripple delete that guy. And then what do we do? We put like those in for some reason. It's like a placeholder, I think. Um, there are times when I, I'll look around like that and I'll just leave it in, uh, even though it's a little nauseating or whatever you want to call it. But a lot of times that'll happen like right after I place a couple things down. So you kind of need it to be there because you can see your, see putting stuff down then. We will cut there. Delete that. That could honestly be a little bit smoother. Like we stop here. So I'm going to cut that. That little extra motion we didn't really need there. And it should be relatively smooth it's a little jumpy but 
that's that's like the style these days, right? Like jump cuts are everywhere on YouTube nowadays. Oh, this was fun. If you're a Planet Coaster player, you know exactly what's happening right now. Pathing. That's what's happening. It wasn't that bad to do this, but it was kind of annoying. Which I guess is like every Planet Coaster pathing experience. So. So we are probably good there, so we'll cut that. A lot of the work inside of this building I'm gonna end up cutting out because. Like, anytime you go way in something in Planet Coaster, the camera, you, you have to move the camera so fast that it's very just not fun to watch. Ja. Um, yeah, it's, we're going to end up cutting. We did a little bit of interior work here um, in the end of this episode. So we'll end up cutting a lot of that out. Um, what are we doing over here? We'll probably, you know what, we'll cut again. We'll cut here, I guess. Right here, because I know I'm about to save. I just saw that, so we'll come back. I don't know, what are we even about to do? I think we're, we're working on this part now. I'm not really sure. Oh, someone was telling me about settings. Um, in the Twitch chat, so I went in and did that. But no, we're back here. So this is one of those things where I went off and I did something, and I don't know why I did it, so I'm going to actually cut a lot of that out. We'll probably end up cutting this out, too. There's really... I mean, I could move it around, but it's not that important. We end up doing a lot more with these planter areas later. And this just this makes a lot more sense to keep this here. Right. What do we end up? <laughs> we end up deleting that. I love doing that too. It's like sometimes I'll make a cut and I'm like, oh, that's a great cut, and then all of a sudden I'm just like, nope, I'll delete everything. Um, in the game. Oh, I don't. We went off to tease the Twitch chat, I guess, for some reason. So I'll cut that out. And we'll probably cut it here. And we'll come right back to where we were. And we duplicate this guy. Turn it. So yeah, that cut is like not super smooth, but it's not that bad actually though. And then of course, we just deleted that entire thing again. I told you, that happened so much. But like I said, like before I probably would have cut a lot of that out. Right now I'm going to leave that in because it tells the story of how this building is evolving into what it's going to be eventually here. And then when I'm doing the actual commentary on this, uh, I talk about why we're doing this, why we're making this level lower. And more or less, usually it's because it looks better, so... If there's ever a question of why did Deke do that? Well, the answer is because it looked better. So, all right. We got we got going here. There's times where I'll notice like on a on a stream specifically on a stream usually, it's like I I I don't know what I'm doing and then I'm trying to talk to people and then like we'll just get going and I'll I'll have an idea rolling and usually I, there's not a lot of edits that have to happen there. Um, this is probably a good place to cut right now, though. Right here, because we stop, and then we can cut back into where we're actually doing stuff. There's a little bit of here and there of just trying to, like, figure out what the next move is here. Oh, this is really cool. So, yeah, we'll, we'll come back into to here. This is a really cool little area. Uh, or a little section of the build that's really awesome. So we'll cut back in here. Um, it, like that little thing right there, I usually cut this out. Like I just step back to look at something, I think. So I'll probably cut here, come back in somewhere. 
Maybe here? I don't know. Yeah, actually, we'll come back in about here. Hold on. Right there like that. Um, there we go. And again, with the menus, I know the menus are about to happen, so, eh, well, actually, this one's not that bad, so I'm going to keep that in. But usually when the menus pop up, I'll cut that out. Here we go. This is pretty straightforward. This is, oh, never mind. I guess we went over here for some reason. Uh, this, this part of the build was pretty cool, like I said before. And it was, once we got rolling with it, I just kept going and it was pretty nice but I don't know why I jumped back over there probably somebody asked me about the ride over there or something um but no we'll we'll hop back in probably right after we end up selecting all of this stuff so that edits there it's not that big of an edit but it's definitely necessary um yeah so there we go end up doing some of that so yeah we end up making this really cool like glass I don't is atrium the right word for this but it's a cool little skylight someone in the twitch chat said skylight so I was like you know what this looks awesome and then it and then it did so it was nice all right so we're going through menus here I like I said I like to cut this out so actually what ends up in this this time lapse for this episode is going to be done entirely on stream, which is kind of interesting. I don't know if I've ever had an, a full episode done on stream. Oh, yeah. Actually, I have. One of the last episodes, I think, was pretty much fully done on stream, and it was a really easy, quick build. You gotta love when the projects are simple. This project took so long because of just the the, the building not working out. Oh, this was fun. And do some problem solving to figure out how to get that to work there. But it, it worked in the end, so that's nice. And then there's some stepping back and seeing what's going on here, so we'll probably end up cutting this. This does get very tedious, editing this stuff. So, I, th I think doing the recording and commentary over the editing will hopefully keep it a little bit more engaging. Sometimes I'll take a break um, when I'm editing, just because it, it does get very, very, very tedious. Uh, I'll cut that. And honestly, I'll probably cut here. Because we're done here. I mean, that's, that's very jarring. It's like you skip a step almost when you're watching that, but I'm... Not that concerned about that. We step back here, ultimately, again. So we'll, we'll cut here. Um, then we end up coming back. Uh, like, something like this, where I'm copying this back to here. Not that important, so I, I'll cut that out. Uh, okay, so here's the interior stuff. I don't know how much of that I want to keep in. Just because if we if we watch this right now... I'll bet the camera, like, see all the turns and twists and the camera's going through stuff a lot? That I want to eliminate. It's not that good to watch that. Well, it's not, like, bad to watch that. It's just not fun to watch that. So I'll end up cutting that out. And even though it's kind of an important part of this build, it's not, like, super important. Although, what we're doing right now, I think I end up moving this down. So I'm going to... Yeah, okay, so that's one of those parts, like, I could have edited that entire little section, but I remember that I, I end up taking this down a little bit, so I'm gonna cut over to here instead of where I thought I originally I was gonna end up. So this is the entire inside section. You want to make sure that you're not deleting stuff that you don't intend to delete, like, something that you wanted to keep in. I'm sure there's probably been times where I do that on accident, like, I'll, I'll edit something and then I'll just delete it, not thinking about it, and then whoops you know it's like it's gone and honestly you probably i probably wouldn't have even noticed i probably wouldn't uh remember that i wanted to keep it in what are we doing here okay so there's some window work i'm gonna cut there because it looks like we're stopping 
Uh, we end up deleting that. I know that. Oh. And apparently I went to the bathroom or something here. And we're gonna cut some of this out because there's nothing going on there. Uh, okay, so we end up back here. This is just me, because I, I don't specifically remember what I did here. So honestly, we could probably cut over to here. I mean, the only thing we really did was place a door. Even though we placed those windows originally, probably gonna cut that out. Um, this entire thing inside, like I said, I'm gonna actually eliminate all of that. I'll probably eliminate a lot of the weird trim work stuff that we're doing back here, but you know, we'll probably end up cutting to here. So there's another big chunk of video gone, which is fine. Um, yeah, I guess we could probably cut back to here or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we get this done. Um, we're doing terrain work underwater. You're not seeing anything happen there, so I'm probably safe to cut that out as well. I hope this video isn't like weird like it doesn't i hope you guys aren't like oh you should keep all this stuff in there i'll be like oh no i've opened up a can of worms i hope that's not the case but i think in the end you'll see how much better it is to be very selective in what i'm putting into the videos all right so yeah this whole thing can probably stay in And then we end up putting some shops down there. Honestly, I don't even remember what the shops are. And now that I'm thinking about it, we forgot to put signs in during this build too. So we'll probably have to do that in the live portion or I'll completely forget about doing that. And then eventually someone should remind me in the comments to put signage around. I'll probably have to commentate over uh, what happens here in the inside and and tell everybody on YouTube that I cut it out because the camera is just it's very very jarring to watch that kind of work but I will show it in the live portion when we hop in here um see it's gonna be important to talk about having a restaurant in here so I'll probably cut to like here what is this? This is... Okay, yeah, that's just dead space, so I'll cut that out. Uh, but no, this gets in tight, so hopefully... Hopefully we don't pop through walls too much. That's the one big thing when you're doing this kind of work. So this is all... Yeah, see, like, that... We can try to edit this out. Let's try that. I don't have, like, a lot of experience doing this kind of stuff right here. We'll take this... Ah, see, like, we go over, and in slow motion it makes sense, but when you're 800 times speed, that is just like, whoa, what just happened? We'll probably end up taking that out, and then... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we'll, we'll end up coming to the point where we're trying to select expansions here. And I'll just talk about it a little bit in the commentary, so... Now it's gonna look like this, where we're placing stuff inside. We're missing a lot of stuff, sure. But, I, mean, I don't know what we're doing here either. We're probably safe to cut here. There's a lot of like minute stuff on trying to get this building to work, and like I didn't know how the restaurants and stuff worked in this game, so there's a little bit of that. And then setting this stuff up, there's no way we wanna, like this is not time lapse worthy. If that's a if that's a word. So that's the kind of stuff though that you see on stream. If you've never been to one of my streams, that's the kind of work that we do where we're kind of a little bit of management stuff here and there. Um, and then you've seen how much I've actually had to go through and like, or you've seen how much I stop and talk to chat too. So there is some input. I love streaming and having you guys there to watch and like suggest stuff because there's been there's a couple points in this episode and I'll talk about it in the actual episode um, there were a couple points where there were really good suggestions from the chat and we end up rolling with it like those skylights for example 
right there. That was a Twitch chat suggestion, and it worked out really well. It's probably one of my favorite parts of the build, honestly. Um, back here we did a little bit of t terrain work, so we'll probably keep that in. Um, and then we'll hop back in. Hopefully, and there's a little bit of like light work in here that we do. I'm not sure I'm going to keep this in here. You know, it's probably going to... It's probably safe to cut to here. Because I remember we were outside for a lot of that. It's a little weird because this is very random right now. Actually, you know what? This this whole terrain work probably isn't that important. So we'll cut that out. Um, and then it looks like we're just doing more focused work on the inside. I guess that was just a little bit of the ADD stuff working out. Um... Alright, so probably keep this in. Even though, you know, nah. We'll probably cut that out. There's no reason to switch to nighttime here. Uh, we end up doing some stuff on the back deck here that we'll end up keeping in. Uh, we're just adding curbs here. So yeah, we, this is an important talking point for this episode. So we'll cut back in here. So we're doing lights, then we'll snap back to the curbs. And we're really just using that as a trim there, but we're trying to keep people because the pathing goes underneath the building in spots here And then on the inside we end up doing some of this too. This isn't too bad to watch so I might keep this in There's not like a lot of snapping in um, in between walls and stuff so probably keep a lot of this going And that's probably a good place to end here. The camera doesn't necessarily come to a stop there, but whatever. Um, and we started looking at other stuff. And we started placing tables. This is weird. So eventually, we'll end up pretty much deleting all these tables and re redoing it. But for a long time... Oh, this... Yeah. Um... For a long time, these are in shot, so we're going to probably edit, uh, keep this in. But we will skip over to here, where we actually have the round tables. Actually, the, it's probably better to come back to here anyway. So we'll go ahead and cut that. Cut that. So it's going to look good because we have... We're ending here... And then we're, we're throwing a table down right next to it. So the point of interest for for you guys watching will still be right here. And then boom. Oh, now we're doing tables from there. That's good. So we end up doing all of this stuff, even though, like I said, a lot of that probably ends up getting deleted. Uh, this was fun. This was... Anybody who came to the chat or on, on stream this day was in for a treat of me trying to figure out how to get a double deck deck going on back here it was supposed to be more of like a dock feel but i couldn't get it to work the pathing just did not allow it that one it was the last spot it didn't want me to put one in it was so sad i was so frustrated and then eventually i uh end up not doing this so we're probably going to cut a lot of the struggle out but and that didn't look good so yeah we'll end up cutting a lot of that out um, and we'll probably cut back to where I'm just deleting all of it. Just, like I said, the story here. I could just say that I deleted all of it, but it's more powerful for the viewer if I, if you see me actually go through and delete it. Uh, we'll probably start deleting it about there, so. Go ahead and ripple delete that guy back. So. Um, that was a little weird. Especially when we come down here. Like, this shot right here is a little strange. So, what we're probably going to do is cut... Here? Sure? Why not? And then it should keep things going. So, yeah, we were trying to get a double-decker deck. Or, I don't even know. Another level to our dock here. And didn't work, so that all worked out for the best there in editing. Um, that's probably a good place to cut, just because I'm not necessarily sure. Usually, like, 
when I'm done with a task, like putting all those umbrellas up, I know I'm about to start something else, and there's a good chance that I'm not going to be right into what I'm doing, so I like to make those preemptive cuts. What are we doing? I think we're adding to the sides of these now. So we'll keep that in. And then there was a little bit of more pathing fun that had happened. Uh, we'll keep this in. Eventually. Uh, there we go. I'm not sure if that just sounded weird, but I hit my microphone, so if it sounded weird, I'm sorry about that. So this all probably stays in. It's all struggle work, I guess we could call it. It was, it was, yeah. Going from elevated path work to non-elevated path work in this game is just a, a nightmare almost. All right, so there's a lot of struggling that's happening right here. So what usually I'll do is cut a lot of it to, like I'll talk, I, I usually leave a little bit in just to show like, hey, this was not fun. And then I'll cut out like the middle portion of me trying to struggle around with it, like, and then we'll cut from there, delete it, do that, and then come back, and hey, look, it was super easy. Not, that's, that's the world of editing. What are we doing? Okay, yeah, that. I think I was trying to maybe use a piece from that other building to like do the custom supports over here. Ended up not doing that, so I'll end up cutting all that out. So yeah, I was gonna use these, and it wasn't gonna work, so. We'll come back in here, I think. And delete that, or I forget. Is that a good cut? Let's see. Always check your cuts. That's one of my other, I guess, suggestions <laughs> if you're into editing if you make a cut go back and rewatch it it's very important to do that and if it doesn't look good fix it please like <laughs> see like i said all of these get deleted and then we start doing something else so i leave one and then we're just doing some detailing work around the building i'll probably cut back into here even though, like, like I said, that's not a big cut, but just that little few extra seconds is enough to warrant cutting that out. So we did a little bit of stuff here and there. That looks good. And then, like, that move around the corner. Like, what was I doing? <laughs> like, watch this. Like, the camera's just all over the place. And then we end up coming back over to here, so I'll cut to here. Instead of watching me, like, meander around that corner there. We'll go from there to here. And it just keeps things moving, like I said. That was going to eventually be the bathroom area, even though... The pathing is kind of weird there, but it, it ends up working out. It's just a lot of getting the uh, pathing to work there. End up placing that down. Before the camera moves, we'll make a cut there. And I guess we get an archway in here. Yeah, that works. Cool. So we'll cut back over to here. Again, stationary camera to stationary camera. The cut should be pretty nice. It's a little weird. We could probably smooth it a little bit here. Probably cut it right before the camera moves in. I mean, it it makes sense. So Here we go. Yeah, it's a lot smoother. And I, I guess if you're if you're getting into editing and it's not working for you, it takes time. Like, I've been doing this now for, what, like, two, three years worth of videos on YouTube? 
and a little bit more time past that uh just doing other kinds of video stuff so this this is not me just like being naturally gifted at this too this is a lot of practice a lot of figuring out what's going on so if you're not getting video editing it's not working for you just stick with it you'll learn along the way you'll pick up tricks and stuff and hopefully you'll pick up some tricks from these kinds of videos if i end up doing these and if you end up watching them so There's a lot of moving cameras around, but it's not that bad back here. Oh, there it is. See, like I said, every now and then I hit the escape button. I just gotta cut that out, just for my own sanity. Probably, honestly, cut here anyway, too. Um, not entirely... Oop. I'm not entirely sure what we were doing here. More terrain work. That's not super important to keep in. This is where it gets more important. So we'll cut back to here. And if you've watched my videos, you know how ADD I can be um, in builds. So like, I came over with the pathing, I did this, and now all of a sudden I'm like back on the other stuff. I don't know why, but... That's just how I, my workflow goes sometimes. All right, don't know why I stopped there. Honestly, we could probably cut a lot of this out as well. Hold on. Yeah, we could probably cut to here. Um, yeah, we could probably cut to here. I mean, like pulling all this off the building, it, I guess it does... It tells the story, but like... Oh. It's not completely necessary to keep in there. Um, what am I doing? Hold on. All right, so we'll cut that out. Let's see if this makes sense, though. That's the other thing. Like, we might have to undo this. Now, this should make sense. And again, the commentary that goes over this helps a lot with this kind of stuff, too. Like, if you're missing a gap of, like, what happened, doing the actual commentary helps fill those gaps. This was cool, though. So yeah, we just did this. Alright, this will all stay in. It's like I know what I'm doing in this game sometimes, you know? It's years of playing. You learn the little tricks here and there. Alright, what are we doing? There's a lot of camera moving. We don't need that. It gets very jarring doing that kind of stuff. So we'll probably end up placing this and then we'll delete that so oop, I don't want to do that that's gone so that's there and then we're that it's gonna be a rough place to cut because I was spinning the camera a lot I try to refrain from doing that but a lot of times I don't like if I'm just building and I need to spin the camera it's not like I'm gonna be like wait don't do that remember the editing no that's usually I'm I have to do what I have to do to get things to look good, but it's like little moments like these where it's just like, ugh. All right, I'm probably gonna cut a lot of this out. Like, honestly, um, as much as you just saw me tweak every little piece here, if I just come back to this, watch, ready? As much as I just adjusted all of those pieces, if I do this right now, and it's like, I spin this, and then all of a sudden it's like, boom, boom! You know, like, look at that, that was magical. That was magic editing right there, and that's a lot of times, <laughs> it's like, what I have to do to make things work. And yeah, you missed 
little bits of me like turning pieces into the right way but it's just like that wasn't fun to watch it hurt me on a spiritual level you know it's just it hurt my eyes on a physical level too so um <laughs> we're doing a lot of this stuff I'll probably come back with this now all right we're there we'll delete that boom uh actually you know what i don't like having the camera zoom out so there's a lot of time i always zoom out to see how stuff looks there are some times where i'll cut that out because it's it's kind of abrupt going from very far back to very close up again a lot of times i'll have to tweak that um, we're still building this stuff. This was just tedious. Anytime you're doing custom supports on, or railings or anything in this game, it's just so tedious to do. And honestly, this isn't that fun to watch in a time lapse. Like, yeah, it's necessary because they did get there somehow, but like, once you see like how a couple of them are placed, there's really no need to watch the entirety of it. Uh, I'll probably cut that trim work out we just did. There's not really a point to... No one's going to remember, like, midway through the time lapse. Like, oh, he forgot to put the curb down. There's a little bit of, like, artistic liberty in this kind of work, too. Like, that right there. Like, I'm making a judgment call for what people are going to be thinking. But a lot of times it's not super critical stuff that I'm cutting out. All right, so we'll probably ah, see like it's weird that we came it's that's a really weird cut we're going from basically motion to all right so see how the camera is sliding to the right if I can find a place where the camera slides to the right right there all right uh, this cut is gonna be way smoother watch this ready See how smooth that felt? It's way much, it's it's very much just like your eye is already going that way, you're thinking you're going that way, and then it's boom, you're out, you're, now we're over here, but how did that happen? You know, it's it's kind of that mentality. Uh, there's some stoppage here, we'll cut this out. Yeah, so I, I guess in this video, which is now an hour and 20 minutes, and if you're still watching, Props to you, but uh, there's been a few cool, interesting little points where we cut here and there. A little cool cuts, so that's what you could... Uh, oh, that's the only thing you could hope for, really. The magic cuts, that's all you want. Alright, so we'll cut to here. Yeah, I guess you're, you're seeing how much like thought goes into every little cut, too, which is... I mean... I've gotten used to doing this, so it's not that bad anymore, but, like, it, it takes a lot of effort to do this, you know? So, all right, work. Ah, why do I keep talking to the chat? Chat, leave me alone. I'm trying to do work. Um, yeah, we can probably cut back into here. So even though we, we we're probably going to skip a little on the camera here, it's it's fine. We're saving that precious few seconds. I'll probably end up cutting here because I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. All right, we're coming back here. I'm probably going to cut a lot of that out too. Um, probably cut this out as well. Non-important stuff. And then I guess we're going to have to come back here where we're putting tables back down. So yeah, that makes sense at least too because we were looking over in this direction. And that's fine. <laughs> uh, placing the umbrellas was a lot of fun. And I say that sarcastically even though it didn't come out sarcastically. It was tedious work. What else are we doing here? Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll cut this out. Someone had suggested putting a vending machine. And if I could have put vending machines on the path, uh, it would have been a great idea. But, like, you have to attach vending machines 
to the sides of paths, and since we had everything kind of tight to the building already, it was not going to happen. All right, um, there's a little bit of garbage canage going on here. I guess we can, since we were just working on the benches, it makes sense that we're doing garbage cans next here. Is that a good cut? Yeah, that was fine. Um, and then, <laughs> like, this is this is all one stream still. Like, from where we deleted the, the, the building till now is all one big long stream. This was like four and a half hours worth of stream that I did. Um, we're doing, are we doing lights? Kind of. Uh, you know what? We end up not using this and we delete it later, so I'm not even going to put it in here. So we're placing garbage cans or stopping, so that's a good spot to, I think the rest of this stream was all lighting and we end up tweaking it in the next stream. So well, all right, that's the end of that one. All right, so yeah, now we're on the final work, finally. So if you've made it this far in this video, I'm completely amazed, but uh, we are editing this final part down. All right, so we ended up putting some of the dirt in here. So there we go, we'll start there. And that was a good cut too. That was a good uh, transition where we stopped and even like the length of this cut here, like how long we stare at this trash like area, this trash can, it's a little longer than usual, but it's like a good way to be like, all right, that's done. Take a breath. Now we're going to go do this. So that's the kind of kind of stuff I think about, probably overthink about, but you know, whatever. Placing all of this stuff down. Cool soil. Not too, too much to say about this. Uh, I saw it. Did you see it? It's that menu. It's it's literally, okay, one, two, three, four, four frames worth, but it's enough to really annoy me. And I always cut those out. Like, I catch it every time, too. I don't know if you guys do or if it's just me, but, like, that, it's just so annoying to me. Oh, uh, yeah, this part was fun. And this is one of those things I'll commentate over later, but there's like editing wise, there's not much going on right now. There's not too, too much to say about it. I like this though. When there, when I'm editing and there's like not that much that I need to edit, it means we did a really good job in the building. Like I'm, I'm moving, I'm, I'm doing a lot of stuff that makes sense on the camera or on camera. So it's like the story is still going. Oh. What are we doing? We might be saving right now, I'm not sure. Nope. We just ended up doing something else. Not really sure what. I may have tabbed out to like change music or something. That's there. That's good. Oh. <laughs> It's just, like, if the screen didn't dim behind the menu, it wouldn't be as jarring. So it would have been... It wouldn't be that bad. I probably would keep them in, but it's just like... The whole thing just happening is just like, whoa, what's what's going on? Again! It must have just been like this work. Uh, I'm probably going to cut a lot of this out, because right now all we're doing is... Well, we're going to be doing a planter here, but... All we were doing is changing the Z fighting, like, how high up stuff was, so it wasn't Z fighting with each other. Uh, do we end up... Okay, we end... We are actually building this. That's good. Alright, so... That's probably a good place to cut. The rest of this is us just moving stuff up and down, so it's not that integral to the story here. And that was a cool little planter, so we'll end up keeping this in. We end up using this. I honestly wasn't sure if we were going to use it or not, but... 
What are we doing with this tree? Okay, nothing. We are doing nothing with that tree. Although, I kind of want to keep the tree in because it shows what we're going to be doing with that little planter in a second here, so... Um... Probably cut here. And I'd honestly like to cut back to here, where we're still... We still have the tree, but we're moving around the side of the building. It's going to keep, like, the viewers knowing what's happening. And there's purpose to why we had that tree now. Even though we didn't place it, everybody knows what we're going to do with that eventually. So... I can't even imagine. I just had a random thought. I can't even imagine, like, doing, like, a full feature-length film. Like, this is basically me directing a film here, essentially, a video. But, like, having to deal with actors and a script and, like, all of the footage that you get for, like, a full feature-length film would be insane. I don't even know how... I don't know how they do it. It's It's crazy. Tabbed out at one point. Come back in. Especially because you have so many people working on a film, too. It's like, it's not just the director sitting in a Adobe Premiere. A lot of times you'll have editors helping you, and it's just like yelling at them to be like, hey, cut that there. Very important that you cut that there. No, we got a better shot of this. You know, that kind of stuff. You got to remember that stuff, you know, and that would be a super challenging task, I guess. All right, we're putting trees down. That's always a good sign. Usually, toward the end of the build, we put trees down. So when the trees start coming out, we know we're getting close to the final part of this. This is going to be a long episode, too, by the way. This is already, what, like 20 minutes? It's going to end up being a 30-minute time lapse. Oh, there's our favorite tree again. It comes back. There it is. Cool. Put those in. I love nature work in this game. There's something about creating like a little planter bed that looks <laughs> palm tree, get out of here. Um, that's really nice. And it's just, it's relaxing work too. So we'll, we'll end up cutting here. We had just done, well, we'll cut right after we put those trees down and those bushes. Well, I guess, yeah, sure. There wasn't a good spot where we, like, stopped, so we'll, we'll cut here when we come back. Don't need to see the trees that we don't put in. We'll cut back to here-ish? Was that a good cut? Yes, I think so. Yeah, that's fine. It's fairly smooth. Um, we were just doing more tree work here. And then we end up using these little planters that we had made, which is good. Really happy we ended up using those. They're pretty nice. Those are on angles, so it was kind of fun. Um, the trees grow vertically, usually, on a hillside, so I ended up having to like change those out a little bit. But yeah, oh yeah, I went over to like check the side, see if like branches would hit people in the head there, but. Uh, we'll end up cutting that out, because there's no reason to show that. Alright, what did we do next? More rocks. It's all about the rocks. And that's why I have a rocky emote, a little rock guy. If you haven't been to my Twitch, um, I have a little emote there that's a, a rock caricature. His name's Rocky, and every time we're doing rock work like this on stream, everybody likes to spam it in the chat, which is always fun. And Mason was going nuts with the bits on the bottom of the screen there for a long while. So we end up coming out to here. And that, like this one is what, one? This one is one frame, but even that one frame, you're just like, whoa, what was that? All right, um, we could probably cut some of this stuff out. Eh, maybe not. Hopefully, I always, like, when I'm doing the editing I'm like when I talk about this on the live portion it's gonna be hopefully I'm going off on a tangent because I don't know how much you can talk about yeah we placed one bush here we placed this bush here that bush is there like that you can't it's not engaging commentary so 
I'm always hopefully going off on a tangent about something in times like those. All right, so we're done over here. Oh man, this is a long episode. This might be one of the longest episodes we've ever had. Mostly because of that beginning where it was just like, um, we ended up doing a lot of building and ended up not using a lot of it. All right, so now we're over here. This is a little weird in terms of editing because I'm not showing going from one side of the building to the other. So the, the viewer, you guys will have to like make that conclusion that we're going from one side to the other. But it's not like we're going from one part of the park over to another part of the park. We're all, it's all on the same project. So it's not that bad. Um, I'm not sure why I stopped here. Probably reading chat. So I'll cut all that dead time out. Like, that, in particular, wouldn't happen if I didn't have, uh... Oh, man, Salty with the $50 donation that day. Um, yeah, that wouldn't have happened if I didn't have chat to look at. So when I'm, I'm recording stuff on my own, that doesn't happen, but... Put the bushes down here like this. Honestly, I think I might cut this, the rest of this, because I know... We, we end up going in and putting some more bushes around this corner, but, like, stuff like that was happening a lot where I was just, like, in between trees and stuff. So we'll probably cut this out. This isn't super integral to the story. Uh, what else did we do? Oh, you know what? We came back and we did a lot of this stuff. This I might cut out entirely. I mean, even though we do it, it's, ah, see, this is one of those times where I'm like, eh, it's important, but I think we could get away with cutting the entire thing out. Let's, uh, well, you know what, we'll cut this in first and see what happens. So, I guess, I don't know, did that make sense? We're doing some shrub work up here, and then it was just like, boom, we're over here now. It's fine. Uh, this might be one of those times where I end up speeding up the footage. We'll place that there. We'll cut it. And then hopefully... Like, I think for the most part I didn't do too much chatting. Oh, actually no, I think I did a lot of chatting in this section, so... Um, if we come back up to where it's done. I don't know where we even end. This is one of those tedious processes where it was just like, hey, place these fences down. And that was it. So if I do this and I end up, um, where is it? Speed duration. And I take this up to like 1600. It cuts that whole thing down to 32 seconds. I'll ripple all of that back. So... This isn't going to be pre-rendered anymore. So it might lag. Yeah, my computer's not, like, strong enough to be like, this is what's happening in real time. For the most part, this is, uh... You know what? I think I'm going to actually cut this out. This is, like, such a tedious process. Probably just eliminate all of that. Uh, we'll make mention of it. That's probably a good place to make mention of it here. And I'll, I'll even say in the commentary, like, hey, I cut a lot of that out. And it's kind of funny because we go from this shot right here over to this shot, and it's already done. But that, that cut accidentally was very, very smooth. All right. Um, we'll go back over to here. Uh, we'll cut that. I want to actually mark that as in out. All right. So, yeah, that's going to be a little awkward area of the time lapse, but it's fine. Um, we're putting some lights in here. Apparently, we're not at the moment. This was a really good stream, though. That's why I'm, I think I stop a little bit here and there. We had a lot of really cool people in the chat, and everyone was having a lot of fun, so... 
It's easy to get caught up in that kind of stuff. All right, so we'll cut that out. And yeah, we're just placing these down. This is gonna be a lot of uh, very simple. I'm not gonna have to edit this too, too much. Unless I decide to randomly stop like that. <laughs> that was weird. Of course, right when I say it, I jinxed it. Um, yeah, there's just like a dead spot. And this this is one of those things where like if you're watching on YouTube and you like see this, you're like, wait, is my video like not rendering? Is it weird or what's happening? So I, I like to cut that out. All right, so we'll probably cut here. We'll probably come back in back here. Okay, so what you don't see here is all of these lights that I had placed the, the last live stream. I'm deleting all of those. So in the the minds of the YouTube viewers, those never existed. <laughs> like, well, that's kind of nice. So we'll cut back over to here. Okay, that's cool. This all makes pretty good sense to what's happening here. I think this is the last stuff we do, so we're getting really toward the end here. Okay, here is a good... We're going through with these lights here, so I'll be able to make mention of this area um, when we do that. People will be able to see it's done. Alright, so this is all good. I think we end up transitioning to nighttime. Uh, there's a little bit more bush placement and stuff. I'm probably going to cut that out. It's, we're kind of past that in terms of what we're doing in the build right now. Um, what are we, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we end up coming back down here, and for some reason I felt the need to put more planters down, so... We shall... jump from there to here. It's a good cut. Um, this is probably me scrolling through a lot of the menus to find what I wanted, slash talking to chat, so we'll cut to here. This isn't going to be a super smooth cut, but it's going to be okay. If you're playing a drinking game right now about, or taking a drink every time I said cut in this video, you are not having a fun time. Or you're having a very fun time, I'm not really sure, but I just noticed how much I say cut. Is I guess par for the course on this kind of video. All right, that's a good place to cut. And then uh, we come in with some more of these plants and whatnot. Uh, we'll probably come in here, delete this, bring this in where we're putting some plants down. We end up moving these out again, and then right there, I saw it. Did you see it? I hope this doesn't, like, break anybody. Like, you know when you point something out and then you can never unsee it? I hope, like, if you guys are watching other channels that do Planet Coaster and they don't cut that out, you're just gonna be like, oh. Every time now, you're just going to be like, why? Why didn't they cut that out? That is very jarring. Deke was right. Just putting some rocks down. Not too much to cut out here. This kind of stuff, sometimes I like to keep it in. Sometimes I like to cut it out. Uh, where I'm like putting pieces up to see what they look like. In this case, I think I'm going to keep that part in. Um, eventually we settle on this bush, I think. So I'll cut to here. I think there was a point where I was talking to chat for a sec there, so that is that. Yeah, that looks good. And then we do something really cool here moving forward. I think this is the last thing we're going to do. I don't really need to show that painting, like the terrain painting think moving that is going to be 
it. So we'll, we'll cut that there. And then we'll come back. And I think the next thing that we're going to end up doing is... Um, we're going to end up turning to night mode. A lot of moving bushes around that I don't necessarily need to show. Uh, there's this little part that I think we can cut out. Like, this isn't really that important. Just a little planter base just to cover up a hole in the pathing. All right, so we slip into night mode. Which, oh, I didn't necessarily want to resize that, but... We'll show this, because if I just cut from daytime to nighttime, it's going to be very, very jarring. So having this, even though it's sped up, having the transition there helps a lot. So we end up putting some lights down. This is one thing that I never do, and if you watch my YouTube channel, you know this. Um, I never do lighting, but in this episode, we did. Aren't you guys proud? I was going to do lights back here. But someone had said something about not doing lights and having more of like an intimate setting. So we end up trying to do some interesting stuff here. And we end up actually doing something really cool. Um, and you're seeing that take shape here. And yeah, this is, I don't know if, I'm sure someone's already done this before in this game, but I love how this turns out. Yeah, so this is all good. And I think I stop here to talk to chat or something, so I'll cut this. This was, yeah, this was very tedious work, but it does look very good. So we'll cut back into here. That was a little jarring, but it's not too, too bad. Yeah, that looks so cool. That is really cool. And then, yeah, someone had said something about just, uh... Doing the lights and not worrying about placing the tables at the same time and doing the tables later, which was entirely smart. And, uh, I'm very happy someone said that. So yeah, there's I don't we we were on a roll when we were doing this too, so I don't think there's a lot of like cuts happening that we need to do here. Unless I stop to talk to chat, which I tend to do a lot. Um Yeah, this is all fine and dandy. This was cool though. This was very cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was weird. Uh, we had to do something with uh, the path, or the terrain underneath wouldn't let that table go, so we had to edit that out, or not edit. Oh, well, yeah, edit the terrain. <laughs> I was thinking of video editing. I think that's about it, though. I think we're really close to the end here. Let me actually zoom out on the timeline. The rest of this, I think, is just us admiring what we've been doing up to that point. Um, and actually, let's see. I'm going to make a preemptive cut, though, back here somewhere we did this work and then we put a couple of these tables back down so i think right there unless we end up doing anything substantial the rest of the way out i think that's about it yeah the rest is just tweaking little things here and there not that important and then i i was screwing around with some lettering that we'd ended up not doing so yeah, that's gonna be it. So yeah, you uh, just watched a hundred or a hundred an hour and forty three minutes of my editing process. Oh man, was that fun! And we just went down from what, like an hour and a half or an hour's worth of footage down to I think overall we're probably oops, don't want to do that. Probably around yeah twenty five minutes. And this was a long time lapse that we did, but we did a lot of cuts. We actually didn't include that one video in its entirety, so that's pretty crazy. But yeah, that was behind the build, I guess is what I'm going to call this little series, special series or whatever we're going to call it. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, if you guys liked this uh, and you want to see more of this, go ahead and support me on Patreon. These videos will be up for any Patreon supporter, no matter what tier you're at. Um, and moving forward, we'll do this here and there. I'm not sure if I'll do this for every episode. Definitely won't do it for every, like, video I ever put out in case I do random videos here and there. 
But uh, yeah, any big Let's Design series like this one that we have with Cedar Flags, I'll, I'll do these occasionally if you like them. If you don't like them, let me know and I, I won't do them because this was a long video. This was a lot of talking and this was... I, I guess it could get very dull and dry if you've seen enough of these, but... That was my process, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for supporting if you are. If you aren't and you are thinking about it, thank you for thinking about it, I guess. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.